Hello YouTube, back again with another rant video, and it's going to be about Russia again, but outside of the Ukraine conflict, where it involves two of these women that you see in front of you, you have Lisa Leslie and Brittany Griner, so let me explain, Give me let me give you some details about these two women. So on the left is uh, Lisa, Lisa Leslie, who happens to be a former professional NBA player for the um, Los Angeles Sparks and is also a big time head coach for the big three and on the right is Brittany Geiner who's 6'9 who's a seven time WNBA all-star for the uh, Phoenix Mercury team so let me explain why this is a big deal as you can tell this is Brittany Geiner's mugshot and in this mugshot she's not she's not uh, uh, she hasn't been arrested in the United States but she's actually being arrested in Russia because apparently the the Russian Federal Customer Services they f found her while she was in a foreign country they f they f they figured that she had substance uh, around her that she was um, attached with her like along the way to the foreign country so apparently then she did get detained she is arrested but this is like uh, I think this is like a couple of weeks before the war started so um reason why this is a big deal because it's been creating a lot of controversy and this has been giving the like the US a lot of thoughts because let's be real they don't really have good relations with Russia the only business that if I, if I recall that they're they're really interested in them like they're really interested with them is uh, having to get gas like, like anything like revolving around gas whether it's for vehicles for businesses like the gas station obviously or for factories whatever but again that's not the main point but i'm gonna still speak out on this so lisa leslie someone from like someone who has power has told lisa leslie not to not to really to, to speak out maybe to most likely speak to not speak out in support of, of Brittany Griner they she is she has she has uh, told people she has made a speech telling people that she's not to speak out supporting uh, Brittany Griner because it would create it might they're worried about the kind of reactions that they, they might get from the fans or the family members and it, it might create a protest so they want to PK people calm, so something is best not to bring it up. And it's within the best interest because they know with the current situation that's going on in Russia that people will just freak out. They might possibly look point fingers at uh, certain people, at certain countries, whoever, and tell them that it's not fair, that they, they need to do this, that it's their duty to try and save this woman, even though it is literally her fault because she because considering that she is going overseas she's bringing drugs she, she needs to be either way she needs to be she needs to be held accountable and it's their laws regardless it's not like she's being taken advantage of, and she is aware if you can tell by the much i'm sure she acknowledges what she did was wrong whether she is scared of being arrested going to jail whether she's scared of being in prison in russia like I'm sure, like at some point, that she she knows that it's her fault, and that I'm sure she will do anything to get out of there, to go back home, to see her family, to be able to play basketball. But some people fail to realize that you can't simply save every American that is in overseas, whether they're in Russia, Africa, whatever country, China, uh, the Middle East, Iraq. Because some people, because the U.S. No, is aware that, especially like I've stated this before, is that Russia and the U.S. they don't have a good relationship. They're not really fond of each other. And why would they want to try? Why would the U.S. want to negotiate with Russia? And sometimes, yes, is it is. Sometimes they feel that's the best solution. If you're trying to save a star athlete and you want them to help bring entertainment help bring the crowd and make a difference considering let's let's not judge like her her size is no joke so but again um i'm sure down the line it will spark some outrage 
my opinion. What I mean, like, what will spark some marriage? If some, if there were to be some bad conflict, if something most likely bad would happen to uh, Brandy Glider, because even though she already committed the crime, what I'm saying is if something bad would happen to her in Russia, whether she were to get in harm's way, or if she were to be deceased, or she to be in serious critical injury, or if she was to be disabled, like, what I mean disabled, if, like, handicapped, like, lose an arm, like, if she can't be able to continue playing basketball with her, with her current state, if that was to be the case. But like even though she, even though she's she's she should she be she she'd be saying to herself that she should have thought about it before deciding to do what she did before. But again, she will have regrets if this if this were to actually occur, if that was to happen. But again, the U.S. is not going to really take action. They want her to leave according to her time, because they feel that she needs to be in, she needs to be mature enough and be able to handle it like an adult. And realize that the U.S. is not going to be able to save every person like overseas, because they want people to be aware that there are consequences for your actions, and that the that the U.S. is not responsible for what every American is, is is has done in the past, and that they should be, even though there are people who are seeking help, who want assistance, a person has a right to refuse if they realize there is no type of correlation they have. There's, no, there's something that they don't have anything to offer to the community, to the country, that, that, they're, that, that why they feel that she has really doesn't have any value or importance to the country of the United States, but at the same time, it's like, the only thing that would be important, the only people that, or the only community that would see her as, as, as important would most likely be the WNBA her fan base, her family, because like I said, like, Lisa Ann, Lisa, Lisa Leslie, why did I say Lisa Ann for a minute, I was hilarious, but it's Lisa Leslie, again, she's trying to be mature, she's trying to be responsible, she's trying to be wise, she knows that speaking out, like, according to the situation, anything that has to do with Brittany Garner, especially if it's not good, if it's not good news, like she said, it's simply so that it doesn't spark an outrage, so people don't get out of line, it's, and it's to keep the people in check, as well as hopefully maybe if that it's, it's that Brittany Garner needs to worry about herself, that she needs to be willing to do this on her own, and that, that she doesn't need people to be willing to take her out of the situation or help her run from the problem. But, like, if anything were to happen, I'm sure, like I said, if anything tragic were to happen, I guarantee you, and, and it creates a lot of uh, controversy, and it got, gets on the social media paper, on the news outlet, 100% trust me on this, I guarantee you, the interview, view, like, the news reporters, interviewers would be swarming like flies, they would be approaching family members, harassing them, wondering about their opinions, or how they feel about their loss, considering it would it, it just make them feel more sensitive, they would just feel more uh, depressed, and that people will, whether it's because they know that she's famous as an athlete, is that her family's gonna be suffering more, simply because people don't have the compassion to give people the space, and time, and need to let them have privacy and live their life quietly, and that's the one thing is that I don't want really, in my opinion, that would be the worst kind of fate, is for the family to suffer even more, not only to lose their daughter or to lose a, fa a, a family member who has achieved so much and who probably could have succeeded even further had she been able, to, had she been around, but she's still around, which is great news. But like, but and on top of that, what I'm saying is like, for but like for that the media outlet to harass you and ask for your opinions when you just want to be in peace and, and be able to um, not constantly have that memory be a nightmare and just have to remember just because people can't help but wanting to bring it up to you and you just want to forget about it just to move forward and move on 
and be able to live in peace. And again, there are people who refuse to let you live in peace because they feel it's not their job. They like to interview everyone who they feel has some type of like important factor and that they want to hear their piece and that that piece we will to get them some type of scoop and that the um the and then if they, when it becomes big when they do become big is that they'll be able to uh, make profit off of it as well as have their name mentioned on the meet on the paper as well as like the news on the article and now they feel that is important even if someone has lost their life and the the, the family is trying to rest uh, like and be able to like have their their peace and just simply move forward is that it sucks because they have to live with it and some people whether they fail to realize that they don't care is because what matters to them is getting the recognition and get having them to speak out so they have something to talk about and that it can be bring, brought up and that they be able to get the credit and that what matters that any credit that you gain can pretty much you can harness and then you can be able to make yourself grow even further and then the growth for the uh, those people who are trying to use exploit someone's death or exploit exploit someone's um, problems in their tragedy they can pretty much succeed because of someone's downfall and that's what like a lot of people feel that they have no right to do it but at the same time that's the world we live in because it's in order to make something of themselves so they can be able to live and make their life seem meaningful and again Brittany Griner made her, her life seem meaningless but hopefully she can redeem herself and realize that she messed up and that she has something she maybe she has something to live for and realize that she doesn't she she can't afford to do this again and that what matters that her career comes first more than anything and that she needs to think about her family and that her family would be willing to help her and that that help will be able to boost her confidence and that she can focus on like i said her nba career her wnba career and that what's important is getting better and be able to, to make yourself feel happy and that you don't get yourself in trouble again and that you can become a, just a regular person that at some point you people will forgive you and that you'll gain even more respect and that's what she needs to focus on right now is getting more respect and having people to trust her and i'm sure lisa leslie she, i mean yeah, yeah lisa leslie did the right thing not to speak too much about it because it was simply to protect the community and protect those from doing something uh, ignorant and so that people become less reckless and which she did succeed and I am proud of that and respect her for it besides um, Brittany Garner I hope she follows under Lisa Leslie's footsteps and Nurios she can be able to prove her, herself and be able she can be uh, a better role model and again hope you guys enjoy the video be sure to check for more upcoming content in the future be sure to check the notifications comment like subscribe thank you